So many zeros in my life. What could I do? Fear not, weary scientists. Zero the hero is here. How did you get yourself into such a numerical nightmare? I did some one hot encoding and my data set just exploded. The classic curse of high dimensionality. But fear not, I have the perfect solution. Sparse representation data frames. Sparse? What's that? If you have a data set full of zeros, you don't need to store all the zeros. Think here of like compression. All we need to do is know where the important numbers are. It's impressive. My user behavior, my text, social networks, all that data is mostly zeros. Nature loves sparsity. In recommenders, I use a sparse representation of users. But that's not all I do. I power dropout in neural networks where we zero out neurons during training to make models more robust. And I'm guessing you're behind L1 regularization? Indeed, pushing those features down to zero. But you know, I also show up in models. Wait, you model too? Oh yes, and I do it sparingly. Take mixture of experts models. There we have a router that figures out which expert model to use for each input, keeping most experts inactive or sparse. So the model itself becomes sparse during inference? Oh, so smart. Precisely, saving an enormous amount of compute while still keeping that performance up. Wow, for someone so sparse, you sure do have a lot of uses.